it's, 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 it's actually kind of creepy to be here. There's a lot more lighting, which means that our makeup has to be a lot better. It's an, a new bar. Business owners and VIPs click their glasses at this special preview party <laughs> celebrating the reopening of Toronto's much-loved bar, Cruise and Tangos. How are you guys doing? <laughs> the popular drag, karaoke and dance complex shut down in April 2009 for reasons undisclosed, leaving some of these queens who performed there out of a job. The building's landlord needed a new owner and began accepting bids. These two gentlemen made the best impression. So the question on everyone's minds right now is how did you guys get Cruise and Tango? Um, basically, we were walking by one day and it's been our dream. Um, since I was 16, I've always wanted a bar. I have a private events company and this is just an extension of that along with uh, Michael together. and. We saw the sign in the window and we figured, okay, you know, we'll try it. We'll just see if we can get it. And um, we sent in a proposal and our proposal was accepted by the landlords based on our ideas and our future for this place. And that's how it all came about. That's how it happened. Fans of Cruz and Tangos will be happy to know that the bar has maintained a lot of its original structure. However, the owners have managed to make a few improvements, such as this fresh new paint job. A nicer stage clean bathrooms, and a brand new team of sexy bartenders. There's new lighting, um, the spirits that's there are all premium. Everything that you see here is, is premium. You will not find that anywhere else at a very, very competitive price. But it's not going to be the same cruise. It's going to be a new bar, a fabulous bar that hopefully everybody's going to come in, check out, and love. How is it new? What's new about it? Well, it's new ownership, new staff, new um, entertainment. There's a lot of the same entertainers that come back. I love the, uh, that is, it's a lot of room, a lot of space. Uh, well, the bathrooms don't smell like poop, so that's nice, for starters. The bars are so revamped and everything, and it's quite warm in here. Like, the, it's so cool and so nice. It's kind of the old cruise, but with a new vibe, and I think it's going to do really good for the community. Business owners in the Church and Wellesley neighborhood agree. Cruise is a busy place. It's a popular place and everyone's really super stoked to be back and it's going to help people, it's going to help the businesses, it's going to help the new pizza stores. It's going to bring back uh, the hope that uh, the village is not dying, which it's not. It's actually growing. It was just in a bit of a transition. So it's going to bring back a lot of hope for a lot of people who used to come here. Did you have a problem getting your liquor license? Um, we had no problems getting the liquor license. The only thing, and you'll probably hear this, is that you know the AGCO takes their, takes time to do certain things and follow those processes. And sometimes bar owners, such as sometimes we get frustrated, but uh, they have to do what they have to do. And uh, we had no problems whatsoever getting the liquor license. When asking this particular queen what she wanted to get out of the new cruise, she replied with one word: money. And these gentlemen think customers will get their money's worth. We're offering something that Church Street doesn't have right now, which is diversity. Toronto is made up of so many cultures. The last Friday of every month, we wanted to have upstairs as a different cultural event. You know, one day it's African event, one, one day it's an Asian event or South Asian or whatever the case is. You know, so that we can target and, and make everyone feel inclusive. The new Cruise and Tangos will be open seven nights a week. For more information on events, you can log on to www.cruiseandtangos.com. For Extra.ca, I'm Michael Piak.